It's early in the morning. A summer day in August 2009 is beginning. At the Berghammer Brewery, the boss is making his final preparations for today's bottling run. Up to 350 crates of beer are produced once a week. For serving in the brewery's own tavern and for people from the surrounding area. It's been part of the scenery here for more than a decade now. The Crone Super Labeler. How many bottles it has labelled in its long life is something only the machine itself will know for sure. One thing is certain though, it corresponds to the basic model that was built in the late 1950s specifically for handling swing stopper bottles. And in 1997, it found its way to the Berghammer Brewery through a company called Ecomac, a Crone subsidiary for second-hand machines. Sehr zuverlässig. Very reliable, very sturdy. It's simply a proper machine from the good old days, built to last, as long as you give it a bit of maintenance in the winter when the glue isn't right. Meaning, if the room is too cold, the adhesive cools down too much on its way to the glue pallets. But otherwise, everything works fine. Apart from a few signs of age, almost human really, the Krone Super has been built to last. And at the same time, it's a piece of modern day history, because the Super is Krone's first rotary machine. It operates in intermittent mode and is steplessly adjustable from 2,000 and subsequently up to 4,500 bottles an hour. The breakthrough to higher speeds was made possible by the upright posture. Since now, the bottles were being labelled in a vertical position instead of lying down. It was thanks to the Crone Super that the laborious manual insertion and removal of the bottles in the lines finally became a thing of the past at the end of the 1950s. This Crone Super at least is going to be a permanent part of history. It's taking a well-earned retirement and, best of all, it's coming home again because in future it's going to be housed at Crone's.